Garbage Day! Acting with Morgan Freeman, that has to be like one of the one of a highlight in everybody's life. Yeah. Yeah, it was absolutely incredible. Mm-hmm. And I remember because I was on there for a while, and then I was, and like he was a very, very quiet man. Uh-huh. He didn't really say too much. And, um, you know, we would have limos. Uh, sometimes I would pick us up, up early in the morning, and we shot this out in Queens. In fact, I think at the same studios that they, they built Cosby's Cosby show was shot uh, later on, I think. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, so, and then sometimes if if we if we had too many scenes, a lot of scenes, and the limo drivers had to leave, so they would take we would take the subway back into into the city. Mm-hmm. And so he actually, he was just very very quiet. He never said much, and so I was quiet because I was in awe of him. <laughs> so I didn't so I say it. I didn't say anything. But then one day I, I got I got enough nerve because we're sitting right because we, we we get on the subway. At the, at the like the beginning of the stop, there's nobody else on his car, in his car except me and him. So we're like sitting next to each other and nobody's talking. So then I get up enough nerve, I say, "Mr. Morgan." He says, "What?" I said, "Guess what?" He said, "What?" I said, "We got the same initials. We're both MFs." And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he starts laughing, and that kind of broke the ice. And then we started talking. And we became pretty good friends. Wow. Oh, nice. That's great. Great. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. And how did your life continue after uh, all that and after uh, Samurai Cop in particular? Uh, well, uh, as you know, Samurai Cop initially didn't do anything. Yeah. And basically, I went back to theater in LA because a lot of New Yorkers had moved out to to LA. And so. We just did a lot of theater. It was a really good theater. But in L.A., it's a film town. Nobody of importance would come to see. And it's all our friends and family would come to see us. Oh, but yeah. nobody of importance because they, you know, they're all about money in L.A. It's not. No, yeah, yeah. Tell you, it's not that much about the artistic viewpoint. This is about commerce. So, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. You know, I would get parts here, parts there. Um, sure. And at this time, Samurai Cop hadn't hit yet. So, uh after going through that, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else before I leave Samurai Cop 1, because I think there was a couple. Uh, well, yeah, here's, here's something before I leave Samurai Cop 1. There, at, at the end of this, and again, as I said, I said that, you know, we had to get film, maybe a tape on you. Mark, you have to have tape on yourself. You have to have film. Film, you, you, must, you must have film to get other jobs here. So we're working for nothing. So then everything is over, we, we think, right? And then I, I call Amir all the time, and he would never return my calls. I could never get it to him. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so one day, I, I get a call from Matt, and then Matt, <laughs> Matt called me up. He said, Mark, I got, I got the movie. I said, what? I said, yeah. Cause he couldn't get in, so and I, I think I'm not sure, and I don't want to say anything negative about it, but I think he he, he stole it or something. I don't know. But he got it. <laughs> oh wow! And, and 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 he uh, and it, it had I don't because I really don't know the technical aspect of stuff. I just know acting, and it had it still had the like the numbers at at the at the bottom of the screen. So he called yeah, me yeah, up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He called me up and, and he told me to come over to his house. So I did. And then we watched the movie. And we just laughed all, all the way through. <laughs> you know, it was <laughs> hilarious for us. You know. Oh. And and we never thought any more about it. He said, Well, and I never saw and then I didn't see that anymore. We lost contact and all that. <laughs> so have you, you know, ever yeah. talked to Mr. Shervan after finishing the movie? No, no, because then he died. Oh, no. oh mm-hmm. yeah. No, I, 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 the, the last day I saw him was the, the last time we shot. And he, he never learned, learned about the success he, it made. No, he, he, he was dead before that happened. Yeah. And I'll tell you, yeah. I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly what ha- what would happen. I mentioned this before on some of the interviews. This is my own personal opinion. Yeah. But I believe that he would take full credit for everything. 
<laughs> you probably would have said, yes, I knew it was going to be a hit. You know? <laughs> With all his doing and everything. We, we wouldn't have got any credit at all. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> He exactly knew it would become a success 25 years later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how I planned it. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Well, and yeah. can you tell us what you have planned for the future? Are there any projects coming up, um, um, acting-wise? Uh, at, at this point in time, I, okay, well, let me get to Samurai Cop 2 first. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, on our, it's on our schedule. Okay. Because uh, I'm still in Florida here. And, you know, personally, man, I'm, I'm going through a financial mess where my mother left me. And so I'm waiting for some deals yeah. to come through. And once that's, once that's done, then I'm going to move back to, to LA because see, I haven't really had an opportunity to take advantage of these Samurai Cop movies. Although I have. I got a voiceover uh, gig from a guy who saw Samurai Cop 2. His name is Dan Oles, a nice guy. And I did a few episodes. Uh, it was called Anti-Hero. I think you can uh -huh. see it. Or you can, you know, it was a drawing. It's like a cartoon. Oh, oh, yeah. I saw that on IMDb. Animated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I was scrolling through the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We were supposed to uh, do 12 episodes, but we only did like four. And I don't know what happened, but maybe ran out of money. I don't know, but... But that, that that came from Samurai Cop too. Right. So basically, I'm still here, I'm still here in Florida, and I haven't been able to get back to LA yet, and and to uh, you know this 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 um, this audience that we have, this universal audience, I haven't been able to take advantage of it yet. But that's what I plan to do when I get back is to tell I got a, I got a hit, <laughs> and I got and I got a I got a fan base. That's all over the world. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we wish you all the success possible. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. You deserve it. You you truly yeah. deserve it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. So well, let me tell you about Samurai Cop 2. Are you ready? Please. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Hit us. <laughs> ready have you are. Have you, uh, have, first of all, have you seen it? Yeah. Okay, it's completely different from than Samurai Cop 1, right? Completely different. And if I may say only one thing, I like the first part better. Everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but but, but speaking of which, uh, we'd like to know, were you immediately eager to participate in the project, or did you need to be convinced to join the sequel? No, let me tell you, this is what happened. Uh, again, when uh, when all this started happening and all these people started emailing me and stuff like that, and then eventually I got an email from Greg, Greg Hatanaka, and he's a, he's a producer, director. He, he was doing another mirror thing. He wants to handle everything. Okay. Uh, and, he had, and he had the money. And he has a, a production company. And so... Um, and again, it was building and building, and then um, they they were having showings like midnight showings in L.A. And I got in touch with somebody, so I said, "Well, I'm gonna come out to L.A. because I just want to see this for myself to see what's going on." So I flew out to L.A. and it's a theater called the New Art Theater, which is right around the corner from where I used to live. And it's really funny. I used to walk past that theater. And I said, it was a beautiful theater. I never knew one day a film of mine would be in this theater. <laughs> so, yeah, things are. So uh, I go back to L.A., and they're going to have a 12 o'clock showing of Samurai Cop. So I get a friend of mine who's staying in his house. We're hanging out, partying a little bit. So we, we go over to the theater. Man, we walk in there. This is a gigantic theater. It probably seats about four to five hundred people in this theater. Oh, wow. Okay. And the place is packed. It's filled at 12 o'clock midnight. Of course it was. <laughs> yeah, of course it was. <laughs> and I said, I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm laughing. I said, all of this for several I cop. I said, I can't <laughs> believe it, man. And then um, 
I just I I watched it and it brought back memories and it was <laughs> I just I said I had no idea this was going to happen. I I I can't be, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And then I watched it. Also, let me tell you too, because I I the only other time I, I'd seen Samurai Cop outside that time with with Matt at his house was that a fan because uh, I would hear from fans all the time. And I said, I've never seen the movie completely in the finished cut ever. So then the fan sends me a DVD. And that was the first time I ever saw the movie without the little numbers at the end, at the bottom wow. of the screen. And a fan said, did, that, did that change anything that the numbers were gone? No, it was the same. It was, the same. <laughs> it was just no numbers. It was, just, it, was, it was the same movie. It was the same movie. <laughs> And I just I, I just remember watching it when I was with all these people and I would I would I would shudder sometimes because I knew what went on behind the scenes. <laughs> they didn't know, but I knew. <laughs> I knew how crazy it was. And they were laughing, but they, everybody was having a great time because it was so funny. You know? Yeah. It was hilarious. That's what that's what it's all about in the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Samurai Cop. So, how exactly did you get uh, contacted for uh, your part in, in Samurai Cop Two? Okay, this is this this is I don't know if you heard this story because it's, it's another story. Matt, uh, black guy, you know, the Samurai Cop. Everybody thought he was yeah. dead. Have you heard that story? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, because <laughs> there was another guy uh, named Matt Hannon who passed away, right? Right. right. Uh. Yeah. And so. Uh, Matt dis decided that people thought he was dead, so he said, I'm going to stay dead, <laughs> although he wasn't dead. <laughs> he didn't think the movie was worth it. <laughs> so he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't try to say, no, no, I'm alive, no, until everything started changing. Then I believe his daughter told him what was happening, and then yeah. he filmed the little thing on YouTube yeah. or something, and oh, no, I'm alive, I'm alive, and this and that. Because initially, this was what, gonna, what was going to happen, because everybody thought he was dead. I hadn't seen him. I thought he was dead, too. They were going to make a movie with me and the girl that played his uh, his love interest in Samurai Cop 2. She was going to be his daughter, and we were going to chase, uh, finding out what happened to Joe Marshall. Me and her were going to try to find the killer's of Joe Marshall, because supposedly he was dead. Uh -huh. That's what was going to be the original script for okay. the Samurai Cop 2. I don't know if it's going oh, wow. to be Samurai Cop 2. But once Matt rose from the dead and <laughs> was back alive, <laughs> the whole thing changed. And so he said, well, we'll go. So we'll you know, get the buddy partnership going up again. And I hadn't seen Matt in a long time. Uh, the situation was is that Gregory uh, had a different idea. He made it darker, which I don't think is yeah. what, what Samurai Cops are about. It should be light. Even the filming of it was dark. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. I had some, you know, I uh, I got some really good acclaim from acting in it in the second one. Oh well, um, that that was all right. Yeah, yeah. I I can't complain about that. Yeah. And also, I think all the other actors, uh, Matt was better. My acting was better. But the story, because see, again he, again, he didn't have enough money. The script kept changing. And then his, yeah. his, his view, his view of, of, of it, you know, was just different. And it just it, it didn't go over well, like, like the, uh, the first one. So, and, okay. um, yeah, and I guess you can, you can, you can see that those script changes. It gets quite confusing at times. Mm -hmm. that, that was that was my impression. Yeah. Yes. See, it's but, like uh, he brought. See, I, in my, and this is my, my personal opinion. I've told him this. I think Gregory is a great producer because what he did, which, which he, because he, he brought in all these people who had all these different audiences. That's why he brought in Tommy Rizzo. He yeah. Brought yeah. In Bai Ling. He brought yeah. in because had had big audiences, so he figured that would help promote the movie, but. But, but the story, you can't, there's too many characters, you know, there's too much oh, yes. on, you can't follow. Yeah. yeah. See, it's, see, it's exactly it. my opinion. Yeah. Uh -huh. see, that, that was, 
and, and, and uh, excuse me, uh, that's, that's, yeah, we're talking things. Uh, that's what I think. But the problem is that we had storylines going everywhere, and basically what it what what it should have been. So what everybody tells me, I'm not boasting. I'm just telling what people tell me. The main selling point of Samurai Cop is the buddy partnership of me and Matt. Of that's, what pe- yeah, that's what people. That's what people want to see. It's a buddy cop movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a buddy cop movie. But you know, yeah. they they went. He went to all these other directions, and then at the end, uh, the scene where I got some acclaim when I'm really finding out about how t- let's, I'm trying to convince Matt to come back and we're going to fight the bad guys again. You know, Matt Matt actually wrote that scene. I wrote a little bit, but Matt did most of the writing because they oh, tried to bring okay. it back, back around to us. Because yeah. the movie should have been about us. Yeah. <laughs> and I think okay, if there's well, ever a third one, if there's ever a third one, yeah. I think that's, we're going to go probably revert back to Samurai Asia. Cop one and use that. Yeah, that would, be would you be open? Would you be open to that under a different direction, maybe? Yeah, if if, if I again is that getting the rights now because see I haven't been back in LA for so long. Uh, there was one time they were going to make a. I, 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 when I talked to Matt, I haven't talked to him in a long time, but he said they were talking about making a cartoon of us. They were talking about some other things. But then all everything just fell apart, and I don't know why. Also, we have a lot of footage from Samurai Cop 2 of the making of Samurai Cop 2, which uh-huh. is probably funnier than the movie. <laughs> and that, that never there, came out either. There's I some uh, documentary in the making, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, there's a documentary. Yeah, but, but it's, it's, been, it's been made. But, you know, since the movie, the second one didn't work, he probably just has it on his shelf. Yeah, sure. and that's it. Oh, that's know. a shame. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Mark, you—they were, they were shooting yep. everything. They were shooting everything. You know, when we talking to people, they—they they had me. They had like when I was coming back uh, from Florida to LA, they had cameras, cameras there. I'm getting off the plane and stuff, and they're shooting me because they want to shoot everything around me coming back to to LA to shoot the movie. I mean, they shot everything. He's got. I don't know how much footage of the documentary. It's amazing. Wow. And, and uh, Mark, of- you you mentioned a, a another great name uh, who was part of Samurai Cop Two. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another director of a really bad movie, Tommy Wiseau. Uh, if memory mm-hmm. serves me right, you didn't share a scene uh, right. in in the final movie, but uh, did you ever cross paths? Did you ever meet? Oh yeah, we met. We met on the set. We talked. Uh, my personal opinion, Tommy Rizzo, is not too complimentary because I'm an actor. I'm a I'm a, I'm a, uh, a serious actor. Obviously, he said, you know, I've studied. I've done that. I don't. Tommy's not an actor, and I'll be very honest with you. Tommy yeah, is a personality. And he's to be ridiculous. honest, that's nothing new. That's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I, and he, but he makes money off this the, the room. I think I watched like five minutes of it. I couldn't even finish it. I couldn't <laughs> finish it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but he's made a lot uh, we, we, we can't blame you for that. We can't blame you. You really got <laughs> a lot of bad movies to, 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 to watch it as a whole. Yeah. Mm. And in, in, in his mind, he's a star. He's a major star in his mind. Yeah. And I think that I know he knows that he can't act. I know, he, but he he wants to pretend that I think I don't know what he's doing, but it's the oddest thing I've ever seen. And during, <laughs> and during, during, the, during the filming, he he um, Gregory had to read. Gregory would read each line of the, that Tommy would say. Because his, his memory is shot, so he can't remember he can't remember anything. Right. So when you see here Tommy talking, Greg would be reading him to say say the line. Wow. <laughs> I've never oh, seen God. anything like that in my in my entire life. So he's <laughs> really like that in real life. He's really that weird. He's it's not a persona that he just puts on when you see him on screen. He's really like that in real life. Yeah. 
yeah, I, I know. I do, I do know because that would no. He's. I think he. I think that, that he's a good actor at that part, but if an act as an actor on the screen, because you know, like I said, I was around him. You know, he again, like that one day when he had his scene, he had this big scene, and he had his partner with him, and they were going over lines all day long. And then we get ready to shoot. He couldn't remember anything. He couldn't, he couldn't remember one line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's been studying all day. <laughs> he had been rehearsing wow. all day, and then he couldn't remember one line. Wow. It was just, yeah. it was just incredible. But Greg, we won. Legend won has it game. that uh, it's the same. It's it's the same with lines he himself wrote. Yeah. For the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's Tommy. <laughs> He, he wow, wants the, the glitz and glamour. But he doesn't really want to be a serious actor, I don't think. But he's making money, man. He, he makes is, a lot yeah. of money oh, from yeah. that movie. Yeah. He's still, and, he's still making money from that movie. Uh-huh. And oh, yeah. so, Tommy, a couple of years ago, there was a movie called The Disaster Artist that oh, yeah, was dedicated right. to life. Do you think that there will ever be a biopic, like a biopic about Emir Sherman? Because I do think that he, that he deserves it. He would deserve it. It sounds like there was a lot of fascinating, uh, showy stuff going on at the set of Samurai Cup back oh, then. See, I, I don't know. Uh, see, his, his son, his son is the one that owns all of his films. Uh-huh. And his son, his son is a lawyer. He doesn't really care about show business that much, but he doesn't really want to sell his, his films as part of his legacy from his father. And as far as I know, like I said, I haven't been out there in a long time, so... I know Matt, Matt was dealing with him for a long time, and you know everything fell apart. So I don't know what happened there. I don't know if Samurai Cop Three is ever done. We have to go through Ben because Ben owns Samurai Cop. Uh-huh. Uh, Samurai Cop Two is, I think, a, a partnership of Greg Atanaka and Ben. Uh-huh. But I, or, or maybe they made some deal that he he paid Ben some money, but Ben Servan that's. You know, Amir's son, he owns Samurai Cop. Okay. He, he owns all of his father's film. Well, we should give Ben a call, right, guys? Yeah. We absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we have to. <laughs> yeah, we. But but basically, uh, you would be in. You would you would you like to see that on screen? A a a similar biopic surrounding the events of of creating Samurai Cop. Now I, would, now, now I would like to, I would like to see Sam, do Samurai Cop Three with Matt. I would like, yeah. for, I would like for us to go back, have some type of oh, storyline, yeah. and like forget like Samurai Cop Two was ever made. Just take it from <laughs> the beginning of or the end of Samurai Cop One, <laughs> and then yeah, because because again, here's another story. Matthew had traveled when Samurai Cop. Uh, two was happening, or I think we'd finish shooting. But he he went to Spain. He went he went to London, uh, and, we, and we got man, we got a big audience over there, and he met a lot of people over there, and they wanted there was talk about you know getting Samurai Cop three, and and shooting it because he had an idea because Matt Matt's got a lot of great ideas, and about us like being retired or something. I think he said. And also, like us traveling in, in different parts of the world or something, because he went to different countries, and they said, "Yeah, we'd like we'd like to do that." And they would put up wow. some of the money, but then you know, this was over I don't know a, year, a couple of years ago, and then nothing ever developed. So I don't know, you know. So I have no idea what's going on in L.A. I have no idea if there's you know. I, I still know there's interest in Samurai Cop because again, I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would love, we would so love to see that. Yeah, yeah. well, maybe we should. And I'm, uh, and I'm always talking. Take it in our own hands. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's cool. I appreciate it. When they, <laughs> when you, they showed it in my home, yeah. when I they showed the movie the in my hometown a couple of years ago, the theater was packed. So there's a lot of interest in Austria as well for this oh, movie. Oh yes, there is. Yeah, we're not the only ones, by far. I was just, so I was just amazed, like when Daniel. It was like 5.30 in the morning. Get, get yeah, sorry about that again. <laughs> and I don't know if you saw my 
Facebook page. I have a lot of women that <laughs> contact me. I guess it's from Samurai Cop or whatever. I don't know, but and they send me these sexy pictures, so I put them up. So I figure that that that's what's going on. It's another one of them responding. They're saying, "Okay, yeah, I'll check me out or whatever." Not exactly. So I look no. at it. I said that was Daniel. I said from Daniel from uh, from Austria. And I said, "What?" what? I said, Austria, oh my God. Now, I said, now we're in, and you, you said, what's it mean? Like two uh, you, two years ago, you, you, you played this in the theater? Is it, was it two years ago? Yeah, it was uh, 2017, I believe. Yeah. Three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I got a, a, film critic in, a film critic in Sweden. Wow. And they're, and they're still running it. Wow. Well, I guess it will never stop. That, 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 that's how I see it. Yes, exactly. Have you ever heard of the the, the last uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Rocky Rocky Matt, Rocky Horror Show. Rocky yeah, Horror sure. Show. Yeah, yeah, sure, show. sure, sure. sure. That's, that's what I think. Samurai Cop is. Yeah, I think it's, it was exactly always run. Right. Yeah, it's one of those phenomenons. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Absolutely. Midnight movies. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And did wow. you ever consider right. writing a book about all the things that happened on set? Because there's a lot of noteworthy stuff, as it seems. Um, well, I know I'm in such a different space here in Florida. Uh, I really want to. What I, I, I got some friends of mine who who know about my notoriety, man. They send me scripts and stuff. Sure. And I have a business background. I'm waiting for a deal to come. I'm thinking about producing my own my own movies. I got a couple wow. of scripts. I've thought, I've thought about that. Uh, I just have to, you know, obviously get this money and eventually leave here. You know, since we have this virus, nobody knows what's going on at all right now. So I don't yeah. know. But I, those are some things that cross my mind. Then, you know, I'm an older man now, although I'm in pretty good health. I'm not, not sure I really want to get involved with, you know, because I've seen producing and all I but, but again these guys Gregory Hatanaka and and Amir because Gregory got ill too but see these guys they they take on everything their egos are so big they want to produce they want to direct they're doing everything and Amir was older than Gregory even Gregory got sick because it's just too much for one person to handle to try to, to have all that control oh, wow. you know you need to delegate some of that to to uh -huh. other people yeah yeah, because it's very it's very hard yeah, to make sure. Yeah, you know, so yeah, you should. I'm not sure if I had the desire to, although I wouldn't do all those things. But mm -hmm. maybe I just I know I still want to act again. I want to act some more. Yeah. No, I'm Mark. Please see. take care of yourself. Don't 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 risk that. Yeah. We, I, yeah. we we want you around. We want you around. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Mark. I I, I guess that pretty much wraps it up uh, at least if you want to want to add something please do okay well okay I'll, uh, I'll add this and then we can we can we can turn it off wrap it up here that wherever this goes out to and hopefully you'll send it out and I'd like to uh, oh yeah yeah that's something else just uh, just occurred to me um, yeah. I want to tell you and everyone else who listens to this, I always say this at the end, I really appreciate uh, you all. I appreciate that we have such a great fan base. Uh, I mean, it really lifts my day, my spirits, my whole life to hear that this movie is so appreciated. Uh, and I really, I, I mean, it really is close to my heart. In fact, I've gotten awards from Samurai Cop from like movie organizations around like towns like in Iowa, Texas, and I have that on my Facebook page. And it's just that people really love this movie. And I'm so appreciative because uh, the acting business is very, very tough. And even if I don't do anything else ever again, or I don't get the notoriety that I have with this, this it could be enough for me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because I know you're not going to be the last people I talk to because it just keeps going on and on and on. And I talk to everybody who wants to talk about Samurai Cop. 
Because that's that, great to hear. I really, I really wow. appreciate it. And we really appreciate it that you took the time to talk to us. It's yeah, absolutely. A great honor, really. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful words. Beautiful, beautiful words, Mark. And yeah, really, we 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 didn't expect to you to offer us really such detailed and 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 great insight. And well, we're we're so glad and we're so grateful. And what's there left to say is once again. Thank you so, so, so much. And I hope you stay well. I, we want to wish you all the strength and, and, and everything in this, in this uh, difficult situation. And God bless. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. And you guys have a great right. day. Thank you so much, Mark. All right. Really Take care it. now.